Hello friends, there are various financial parameters and fundamental analysis tools which helps us to understand which, which company we should invest or which company is our best investment destination. So to understand that, we have to understand some of the ratios which tell us whether the our investment into that company is good or is not good. Under that, we will understand one ratio known as EBIT margin. Now, what is EBIT margin? EBIT margin means, first of all, what is EBIT? EBIT means total sales subtract total expenses, add back your interest and tax burden. So, the value that you receive after you have added back interest and tax, that is known as your EBIT means total sales minus total expenses plus interest plus tax that will give you your EBIT. So more the EBIT grows for a company year after year or quarter after quarter that tells you that the company is doing well. But now we have to understand that the EBIT is growing but what is the growth in percentage terms? In percentage terms also is it growing? So to understand that what do we need to do is we need to divide EBIT by total sales of that company into 100. So this will give us our EBIT margin. Now if the EBIT margin also growing with our EBIT then that means that company is doing very well and that company sales are continuously increasing that means that that company's products are very well marketed in the markets and the sales are constantly growing and the expenses are good controlled which is why the EBIT margin is also growing. Now to understand whether the company that we have under that same sector is our company the best in the EBIT margin performance or are there any such companies in the same sector which are doing better than our company. So for that analysis we need to do a relative valuation. So this relative valuation will tell you that whether our company is performing best in terms of EBIT margin or there are any other company in the same sector. Why do we say in the same sector? Because it is imperative to take stocks of the same sector to understand your own stock. Otherwise, it will be very difficult if we take it from other sector because criteria of different sectors are different, right? So today we will analyze three companies in the same sector and this kind of valuation is known as relative valuation. So we will analyze Marico, Hindustan Unilever and Britannia to check out if the EBIT margin of that company is the highest, which company is giving us the best EBIT margin and so that will be our best investment destination, right? So in the stockage app onto Britannia Industries, what we check in the fundamental section under the ratios, under efficiency ratios, we see that the EBIT margin of that company that is EBIT divided by sales into 100 is 15.27 for Britannia Industries. Next, we want to check out for Hindustan Unilever. So when we check out for Hindustan Unilever, what we find is that Hindustan Unilever's EBIT margin is 20.23. So that is better than Britannia Industries, right? Next, when we move on to Marico, then what do we find here is that Marico's EBIT margin is 70.90. So that means Hindustan Unilever is one company whose EBIT margin is the best. So under the same FMCG sector, if we analyze all these three companies, then we come to understand that Hindustan Unilever is giving us the best return, best way of performance. So that means under the FMCG sector, if we want to invest, we should invest in 
हिंदुस्तान यूनिलीवर बट एबिट मार्जिन इज नॉट द ओनली कॉम्पोनेंट विच वी नीड टू लुक एट अंडर द फिनेंशियल रेशियोज देर आर मेनी अदर रेशियोज विच वी नीड टू चेक आउट बिफोर इन्वेस्टिंग इन टू एनी अदर कंपनी एबिट मार्जिन इज जस्ट वन ऑफ दैम होप This video will help you to understand more about EBIT margin. If you want to understand or read more about it, then you can go on to our website blog.stockage.com, whereby you will have complete information and guidance about the EBIT margin. Thank you.